Welcome back to something I didn't think I'd be doing for a while. It's a Knit Stories LP. I got asked by YouTube user Zaxki. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Better known as Zachary Starsword, apparently. He, he wrote this convincing sentence saying his two usernames. But um, he wants me to take his level that he made for Knit Stories. It's really short. The, the video is probably going to be five minutes at the most. And he wants me to play through it, uh, discuss it, analyze it, you know, stuff like that. And I'm open to that. If anyone has any levels for any game or ROM hack that they want me to try out, if they want any Let's Play videos they want me to do, you know, whatever, I am down for that. I have no problems doing that. I don't mind analyzing games because I'm a pretentious asshole. And I'm studying video game design so I, I actually can sense it. But here we go. We're playing New B Rock. New B Rock. The signal is his first time playing if he couldn't get the in joke. On a day of no particular importance, Junie wakes up to find herself in a completely different place. She sets out to explore. Okay, when I said this is short, I mean really short. It's like 10 panels. They gave Junie a blue uh, dress. I guess she wears a dress. And there's a couple of random sentences here. Welcome to New B Rock. It, it's really, it, he categorizes it as easy, which is completely true. Uh, there's no real secrets, there's, well there's one, but I don't know if you'd really count it as that. Basically this kind of works as uh, an intro level, because he has all these uh, little things like, oh well there's something up there you better get, but he can't reach it. Or he's like, you better use save points. Now to most NIT users, that's not, you're not going to care about that. You ignore that. You're not going to care about that, because you already know about this anyways, because you play it, I don't know how many net levels. But, um, for first time, or, uh, yeah, I guess he's trying out the chat boxes. And this stupid enemy here. It, it's, it's okay, like, this is nothing that I'd go, Tanner was like, hey, I made this level, it's pretty sweet. You have gained the ability to climb walls. Look, discoloration, I wonder if I can go in. Haha, -ha. this is the one secret. It's a <laughs> an enemy detector, even though there's only three enemies in the whole game. I don't... he doesn't give you a long jump. This, these are the only items you're gonna get, uh, these two, and you start off with run, at least. He was nice enough to give us a run. But, you know, for a first time, like, a first level, this is... it's okay. It's, this is just a test level, basically. It's like, it's like a introduction level. I don't see you going around saying, like, being proud of this level, this is just kind of like a test room. Now, the wall back at the start has no climb on it, I already looked through the, uh, the guide, or the knit level user design, level, 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 level. Yes, the level level. Have I said level enough? Level level. Once past the red gate, Junie finds that she's escaped the useless mountain, more like a hill, known as Newbie Rock. Giving an exasperated sigh for her useless adventure, she per she per oh, fuck. <laughs> Thank you for wasting five minutes of your life to play this game. Please send all tips, advice, hate mail, and death threats to Draxter14 at charter.net. Have a nice day. Okay. Time for level analysis. Alright, I brought up the level editor here to show you off what he's got done here. I don't know if you can see on the bottom where my mouse is now. Uh, there's about 10 or 11 panels here. There's a little one down here. Can't quite get to. It's it's completely pointless. I think that's the starting panel that the game will usually give you. But as you can see, this was just kind of a short little test room. Test level. It's it's not all that good. Like it for a first level, you know, it's cool, but it doesn't have any atmosphere. It's nothing to go like be proud about. I'm pretty much reiterating what I said earlier. Um, yeah, Zachary, like, y you have a decent level. Admittedly, right here, uh, not there, here, this little jump right here, that actually screwed me up on my first time, because I couldn't get the timing right to get over it, because you have short jump. I'm used to having a level where you have the long jump or a double jump, so that was a little bit annoying, but it's otherwise okay. Um, not most of the enemies are pretty sim safe, similar, easy to do. Try keep keep trying. I, I I'll give you credit for actually like trying to make a level. But you know, try to make something a little bit more larger. This one you probably did in a couple hours once you started learning the tools, but if you can crank out like a really sweet level, this would be pretty cool. If anyone has any opinions they wanna 
post about the level. If they have any suggestions, if they want to show off their own level, if they want to just comment on the level itself, post a comment, post a video response, post a level, post anything. I'm completely willing to take any uh, comments or any help if you want to do stuff like this. I'm willing to take any suggestions if you want to do levels, you want me to show off doing levels or whatever. And, um, well, give, uh, give Zachary some comments. Um, he'll probably be reading the comments on the video anyway. So just, you know, 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 you know. <laughs> just make some comments, uh, tell him what you think of the level. I know it's pretty basic. It's no what is love or don't eat the mushroom or dark sky wish mountain. But it's something. And he tried. I gotta give him credit for that. Alright guys, take it easy.